Workout Wednesday. So today we have a very exciting series that I put together last minute for you guys because I was thinking about it and so I'm a huge Christmas girl. My whole family, we love Christmas and so I start celebrating Christmas, I mean like early November, but um, December 1st was yesterday. So first official day of um, Advent, I call it, um, the Christmas. So thinking a lot about what that means for a lot of people and so for a lot of people they get caught in this rut literally the whole month of December where they call it a holiday and they're not working out they're eating whatever they want all these treats and extra things and sure it is Christmas it's the Christmas season but Christmas is literally one day so the not working out and the eating whatever you want for that to go on for the whole month of December. I love the spirit. However, that is not what our bodies need to, um, need to, we need to work out, we need to move, we need to eat healthy foods that fuel our body. So I thought um, last week I did a couch series. So if you're watching TV, um, every commercial break, do that little workout. It's like two minutes, three minutes, so a couple of commercial break one. Um, so today, this week, is kind of playing off that and playing off um, movement is super, super important. So this is a 20-minute lunch break workout. It, it should be about 18 minutes because um, not everybody gets the full hour. Not everybody can get to the gym. Not everybody is motivated to go to the gym. Not everybody is motivated to move for um, 30 to 60 minutes. So this little 18-minute thing um, is better than nothing, and it's important. Um, to move your body well thank you so we're going to start with just our warm-ups we'll do our, our spine warm-ups three different movements um, rotation just for a couple seconds just to loosen up our spine because that is very important so rotating left and right side flexing left and right side good and then flexing and extending our spine so curving, extending. Just about a minute of that. And then we're gonna start with squats. So feet are a little bit wider or hip, di hip width distance um, apart. And we are going to be squatting down, sending our hips back and squeezing up. So from the side, I'm sending my hips back. My knees are not going forward. They're staying in line with the ankles, squatting down, squeezing up. We're gonna do 25 of those. If you need to take a break after each five, that's fine. I'm just gonna go straight through 25. Let's see the camera angle a little bit. There we go. Good little movement. This is another easy workout that you could do. No body weight, but you could do this while the turkey's cooking or while 18 minutes while dinner's cooking. Just something easy to move your body. Depending on how fast you do these squats and the other movements, you won't sweat a ton. So it's not like you'll have to shower afterwards. Okay, five more. Hip bridge, I've done once before. It's a super, super good workout for your glutes. We're going to be on the ground on a rug, preferably, or a yoga mat if you have one that's better. I have a yoga mat here, or I choose not to have a yoga mat here. So we're going to get down onto the ground. Tilt that, I think Facebook can see me. And our feet are planted. I'm going to be on an angle so you can see me. Feet are planted flat on the ground and arms are on the ground, palms are flat on the ground. We are going to be pressing our hips up to the sky, squeezing our glutes. 
So this is what, and I want your neck back. I'm just, I'm just tilting my neck up so you guys can see me, but I want your head back. So all the work comes from the hips and the glutes. So this is me pressing up and squeezing my glutes and my hamstrings to hold my hips up like this. That's one. We're gonna try and do 25. If you have any low back issues, this one might not be great, but it should be. You might be using your low back, so you should be able to do it with no issues. Just focus on using your hamstrings and your glutes only. So we'll press up and we'll do 25. Just up and down at your own pace. Not too fast, not too slow. Keep your hands down. I'm just doing this so I can protect my neck to watch you guys do it. And I'm going to show you a variation when we finish the first 25. If you want something a little bit trickier, squeezing all in your glutes and hamstrings, even though it's tough. Ten more. Good job, you guys. This is what it looks like. Five more. Last one. Squeeze, and then I'm going to stay up for the demo. So we're going to try a one-legged one. So basically, one leg kicks out to a straight leg. Keep those hips up. And then you can switch the other leg. Just for a couple seconds, it really works the hamstring and glutes on the leg that's still planted. So we'll just do 10 of these. Keeping those hips up, so pressing and squeezing constantly in the glutes, alternating legs. We'll do 10 each. This is great for your core. Squeeze your core, squeeze your glutes. We'll do five more. If you want the next variation, you would keep that leg kicked up, press down, and back up, and down, and back up. We won't do any of those, but that's just an example of what those are. Okay, next we've got um, another core workout. It is going to be, I have some file. It is going to be, I'm going to put this down and hopefully things will be together. So let's see. Let's see this way. We're doing a plank with leg rotation. So I need to be on a little bit of an angle, but you're just going to be on your rug or your yoga mat. In a plank, you can plank from your wrists or your elbows, depending on if you have any pain in either of those or just pre preference. I plank from my elbows because my wrists are not always super awesome. Um, and then you're gonna kick your feet out. If you're a beginner, you're not gonna kick your feet out, you're just gonna kick your legs out, and you'll be planking from your knees like this. So this part is on the floor. This is a full plank kicked all the way out. So, and I'm on an angle, because we're gonna do, and I think I have to stay on my wrist, so you guys can see what I'm doing. We are going to do a plank with leg lift, so similar to the hip bridge, we're just gonna be kicking one leg out and the other leg. While, all while holding the plank, so squeezing the core, don't cave in, or don't cave up, don't cave in, just keeping a nice straight line. We'll do 10 each. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Now to get our heart rate up a little bit, we're going to do some chair step ups. So grab a chair, grab a stool. Usually I'll use a stool, but I forgot it, so I, now I don't have a choice but to use my high chair to do something shorter. Please start with that. Don't just jump into that one. I am stepping all the way up. I'm gonna scoot off the screen for a minute while I show you, but just alternating legs. So I'm on my left leg. Stand up, both feet flat on the chair or stool. 
and then step down. Switch legs, press up, come all the way up, come down. We'll do 10 each, that was one. This is two. And we'll do 10 total. Make sure you have a sturdy surface. This is good to just get our heart rate up. Move our legs a little bit. All right, four. Wait, seat step. And five. If you've got a lower stool and you want to go faster, by all means, go faster. All the power to you. And we've got three more on each side. tricky. If you are on your elbows, it's easier, it's more stable because you have your full, full forearms. Remember, if you are a beginner, then you are going to stay in plank from your knees. So let's get down into our plank. I'm going to stay on my wrists for the video purposes and I'm going to do a full plank. If you're a beginner, this is your plank or this is your plank from your elbows. And we are going to do 10 each side. So bring your arm out, bring it back down arm out, back down. What you want to focus on is keeping your hips stable. Sorry, I know it's really hard to see me. Try and keep your hips stable. When you bring one arm up, if you're not keeping your core tight, your hips are gonna rock to the side. And then you're gonna hips, your hips are gonna rock to the other side. So try, and not, try not to let your hips move. You can watch me. My hips are moving a little bit, but I'm really trying to keep them instead of this. This is not what we want. Nice, steady. We'll do 10 of each. Five more. Two more. Good job. Who keep Doki. Now, just to keep with the whole body movements, we're going to do a few push-ups. It's just good for you. I'm not great at push-ups. It is a work in progress. So I'm going to do push-ups from my knees, my wrists. Let's just do 10. Do them from your knees if you need to. If you have an elevated surface, you can do them elevated. That's even easier. Like this is an elevated Push up from the knees, elevated. This is the easiest. Still a great workout, do that if you want to. Look, okay, Harry, you do them, just get them done. 10 push ups. Okay, good. Now to finish this off. A little bit of abs and then we'll come up and do some squats to finish. Easy, easy. So we're going to do 50. Essentially we're going to do 50 sit-ups. However you want to do them, you can. My favorite is a bicycle, so that's what I'm going to do. If you want to do a classic sit-up, you can do a classic sit-up. If you want to raise your legs up, you can raise your legs up. If you want to do a V-up, you can do a V-up. I'm just going to do bicycles because I love them. Um, so a bicycle is one leg out, one leg flexed in, and I'm crunching to the opposite knee to opposite elbow, 
and then switch, and then switch. I'm gonna do 50 total of those. If you're doing a harder version, like a V-up or a full sit-up, you can just do 30 of those. Well, let's do 20, let's do 50 bicycles. Not super fast, but a steady pace. Just like this. That's 10. That's 20. amount of time before you have to go back to work or whatever it is. I call this a 20 minute lunch break workout. Just a quick little easy body weight workout. Get you moving. Um, and then it, it pairs well with the couch workout that I did last week for um, commercial breaks. So between this, you'll be moving and grooving the one last week too. Hope you guys are a little out of breath like me. Hope you guys had a good Wednesday and I will see you next week.